Hey guys, hi, it's it's uh, Noah, and I haven't seen you all for a while because of personal issues, but I'm back now, and uh, I'm wearing makeup because I'm going out today, and I wanted to feel pretty. Mm. Anyways, today's topic of the week is the whole um, Equal Marriage Act that the United States passed, and I live in the United States, I live in California, so that affected me, because... That means that I can now marry whomever I want, no matter their gender identity. And this is a big leap forward. Now, this fight isn't over yet. we still got a lot of work to go, especially when it comes to transgender individuals and even just acceptance in the community. It doesn't matter whether or not you're able to get married. If you're not accepted by people, then what's going to happen to you? Pardon me, I was reading that. Um... I watched one of the other videos that one of the other guys made, and he brought up a good point about how everyone's referring to the Equal Marriage Act as people are now, or gay people are now able to marry. And yes, gay people are now able to marry, but I feel like in doing so, by saying just gay people, you're erasing everyone else. Because it's more... Society today see, is aware of homosexuals they're aware that they exist however not everyone is aware of other identities such as demisexual asexual pansexual such things things such as that and that's great that people are accepting that there's more than just heterosexual people out there but there's more than the world isn't divided into two categories it's never been divided into two categories the world isn't people aren't straight or gay people aren't black or white people aren't male or female they're all just a big mess and collection of a bunch of different things and that makes and that's what makes us human is the fact that we're all equal no not equal the fact that we're all different that's what i meant to say and it isn't just the lg it's the lgbtqia plus whatever doesn't matter how many initials there are lgbt as it's formerly known um and that's because there's more than just lesbians and gays. There's bisexuals, there's trans, um, there's transgender folks, there's um, demi, there's asexuals, there's demisexuals, pansexuals. Um, there's also aromantic folks, panromantic. Uh, it's a whole mess. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, the community is huge. Basically, if you aren't heterosexual, heteroromantic, cis, um, cisgender, if you aren't all three of those at once, then you are allowed in the community. You are accepted in the community, because there should be no gatekeeping, because as long as you are not a combination of all three, you are in that community. You count. You matter. And a lot of people aren't paying attention to that. A lot of people are like, bi people are greedy, or transgender people are just confused, or pansexual people want to mess around with cookware it's really stupid because people just don't get it and while this is this equal marriage act is a great step forward for everyone to get married there's still such topics such as well what about people who don't want to get married no matter what or people who don't feel romantic attraction or people who want to marry a ton of people what about that it's more than just two people getting married it's, it's about so many more things than that and that is perhaps one of the most important issues is that it's more than just romance and love and you are allowed to love you are allowed to love as much as you want but you are also allowed to not love you are allowed to feel however you want to feel as long as you are not hurting another person as long as you are not hurting another person, you are your feelings are valid and they are worthy and they are important. And um, I feel like I'm going too long for this, but I could honestly rant about this all day, but then I'd start crossing points and repeating points and stuff like that. But it's just it's a big deal because this is my country. This is what's going to affect me in the future. And there are people being born right now. Who will never ever have to live in a world where people being born in the United States 
will never have to live in their con in a country that doesn't allow them to get married. And watch as we begin to accept more people and more people are coming out. People are going to say, oh, this gay marriage act is going to make more people gay. No, you're never made gay. You simply are. You simply are that. And you don't become it. You are. You always have been ever since you were conceived in the womb. And honestly, the fact that it's happening is one of the greatest things ever. But we've still got a lot of work to go. Anyways, I feel like that was entirely too long, although some people go on for way longer about this, but... Anyways, go ahead and talk to me on my Tumblr or Skype or whatever. Just ask me for my Skype, honestly, and I might private message it to you. I'm not very open about that, but I will if I trust you. And, um... Yeah. Stay safe. Love yourself. Know that you're important. Love you all. Farewell.